So it would appear there may have been some shenanigans afoot. Allegedly, it wasn't the people donating the three dollars for pancakes. Like someone else was just writing their name. So I don't, I don't fully know what's going on at this point <laughs> as far as donations <laughs> go. So blanket, thank you for pancakes? Question mark, guys. I don't know. Uh, but we find ourselves in game number three, the Dragon Invitational. Once again, guys, big shout out and thank you to Dragon for hosting this. He is casting this. He's got a very I'd say raw hype style of casting. If you want to check him out, I would highly recommend it. But um, yeah, let's let's just hop into the match. There's not a whole lot of dilly dallying for this one, guys, because this is the cider who goes on to the finals. Spawning here in the top right corner of the map, it is the Blue Terran player alive. And in the bottom middle of Merry Go Round, bringing it back for now, up to one one, a red Zerg. It is Ragnar Rock. Did you ever watch um, History Channel's show, like, Vikings? I've seen a couple of episodes. Uh, well, actually, hang on. I was going to start talking about nonsense, but we should focus on what's going on. And Alive's not actually 11-11 Raxing, but s I want to say semi-proxying a Reaper. This is weird. Oh, that was uh, like 12 12? Yeah, like, oh. this wasn't an 888, so it's not... Um, yeah. Have I you don't... seen, by the way, Alive has, like, a, a thingy with his name on it? That's pretty cool. What? Next to speak. Yeah, yeah, it's got like a little person thing too. It's yeah, it's nice. uh, but anyways, to talk about what's going on here, guys, it's a little bit odd to see this because you gotta think like, well, what's the point of this? Why not just put the Reaper yeah. in your main because it can still jump out? It still buys you oh a my. little bit of time. And you guys oh will note a lot of the time the Reaper arrives in a Zerg player's base, it's either as the Lings are popping or they've already been popped. And unless you're going for like a 13 pool, you're not gonna have a Queen out this early. So it's a small bit of acceleration, but it's enough to actually justify doing this, as weird as it seems. Yeah, but oh my. Wait, what? Okay, so. Right. Did he go 15 pull 50 notch? That might have been the case. So this is weird because I think Ryder Rock has been 50 notching every game. And now when Alive is semi proxying, all of a sudden Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok goes for pull first and six fast. I think he's trying to counter the one Ling, uh, the one Reaper into like no more Reapers. I think this is a counter to that build. So maybe this is fine for Alive because he's going to bump into some slower Lings. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna slaughter him. Yeah, I think I think right now, cause I think that's a pretty good counter. I tried that myself on ladder one time, because if you make those six links and you run around the one Reaper, there's no Reapers back at home, and those Marines always pop quite late. So you can like force uh, or delay the CC for a very long time when Whoa. there's no one Reaper. Whoa! Did you see that yeah. jump? <laughs> that, that guy's was like, crazy. That was like the Catalina jump. I don't know if you've seen the uh, the bugs Superman. on that man. He just started flying pretty much. So that yeah, was no, kind of cool. I've seen that one, but I've heard of it, yeah. That, that, that closed the gap quite a bit, actually. <laughs> <Catching> <laughs> that, those was, links, but... that was insane. What, what, that, he just flew. He just learned how to fly. Apparently. I believe I can Ooh, fly. Bunker. Bunker. I believe SCV. I can touch the sky. Beautiful. No, it's not. Uh, anyways, yeah, the SCV go down kind of sucks. This bunker wasn't really meant to finish, though. It was kind of just a threat more than anything else, yes. I feel. Yeah, there was a kind of a trade-up as well, because uh, Ragnarok did make a spine there that he cancelled as well, so that was fine for Alive, despite, I mean... Oh, I guess nice snipe of the tumor. Yeah, that that's actually a very, very big deal. On a map like Merry-Go-Round, you need a creep towards the third base, so... Oh. There, I can't... That's so important. Okay, gets the creep tumor, and three Reapers he went up to. Not too surprising, considering he did yeah. semi-proxy that barrack, so... The, but the downside is when you do go for the re reapers, you kind of have to invest in going for these queens. This which is why he's getting a little bit antsy and not waiting for them to fully heal up. Uh, trying to get ahead of the transfuse energy, basically. It's the TLDR yeah. what's happening. But I mean, Yeah, like you said, queens are expensive. Look at his money. He can't, he seems to supply lock for a while now, and you can't really drone up as quickly as you would like. That reaper does bear. Oh Oof. no, wow. Good box fire. That's, That's actually going to send it back home, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. Their CC is coming up at home though, so it's not like it's not like a live is offset by this. This wasn't an 888 oh, that's an all in, God. but okay. Ne wait, never mind. Okay, I thought <laughs> I, th I thought Ragnarok just pulled an Amshar and he went for the what? E extractor trick and then forgot to cancel the extractor. Hang but on, I was yeah. What is going on with the donations? Somehow, Base Trade TV just donated two dollars, but I'm Base Trade TV and I. I don't understand. We're being trolled by somebody really hard today, but it's like with money, so I don't know if I feel bad about it. <laughs> Keep on trolling. Please. Br bring it on, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but I'm sorry, you actually want something relevant. 
Um, yeah, okay, so Ragnarok played gasless, by the way. Not too surprising, because you did go pull first into expansion. I was kind of, I don't know, I was probably daydreaming. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, he did go gasless. He didn't open speed, as I'm used to seeing Ragnarok do. But looks like he's probably going to go Roach, right? Yeah, okay, those are Roach Warrens. So he's going to go four gas, kind of Yon style, one one Roaches. We don't know if he's going to commit a lot, or if he's going to like take a third and join up behind it, but... Most likely, we're going to see a, quite a big commitment, and we see alive with the starport, not Ooh. going for a banshee though. Okay, so he cleans up a lot of creep there actually, because you have to consider if you guys didn't catch that alive, uh, or rather, Ragnarok just killed his own creep tumors to make room for these Evo chambers. So picking off that one at the bottom yeah. of the ramp was kind of a big deal, because he wasn't planning to spread too much more right now, and now with the Hellions right on his doorstep, he's certainly not putting down new creep tumors. I mean, okay, so normally I would think that's fantastic to kill off the creep, but honestly, like, considering Ragnarok is going for a 1-1 Roach all-in, seemingly, right now, like, Alive needs all of the money, you know, he can get to kind of get enough army out to, you know, hold this off. Like, I'm getting a bit worried for him. And he's getting the scout off, though. He, like, he sees everything at the ramp. Oh, Hopefully the he does prepare. Ooh. Slowlings running through that choke was uh, not going to work yeah. out for him if that was the case, but uh, you're, you're right. You know, he sees the roaches. It's a big thing to here. identify. I don't think he needs to overreact though. I mean, this is if he gets a bunker oh. down at home, he should be okay to hold behind this wall. Yeah, as long as he gets the bunker. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't that's see a bunker point. still, and he's quite supply block. Come on, alive! What do you? Okay, four supply depots finishing now. Bunker starts now, there so he just go. doesn't want to start it too early. He's kind of trying to time it out there, but. I mean, this is a very, very powerful attack. Like, you can't underestimate the 1-1 one, one Roach push. And wow, those Medivacs were pretty quick, actually. So well, that's see, nice this for him. Is... But he doesn't have a lot of units. Right, right, but this is the thing, right? Like, the Roaches are chasing the Hellions and the, uh, the Reapers. They don't want the third to die, so they're not pushing for a break. They're not going to bust in here. I mean, well, he's probably is... watch, uh, waiting for the upgrades, probably, I'd imagine, um, before he attacks, but... He's he's committing like he's making the third, but uh, I mean don't 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 be fooled. This is a big 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 commitment. No drones being made behind this. He's continuously making roaches. And yeah, when look, one one finishes, there's a tank on the way. He's got those medvacs like you pointed out. He's got another bunker coming down. Yeah. He knows what's coming. Like alive has read this situation perfectly. And yeah, even I though... like the tank a lot. And yeah, he's preparing well. But I mean, this is still a big commitment. So okay, Hydro tank goes up behind it, but. He kind of oh, needs to no. do some damage. I don't like the idea of the drop. I really don't like the idea of the drop. He needs every is unit he, he can at home. Is he, where's the drop? I don't. Oh god, it, why? It's, and he, he pulled the Marauders, which I, I, dude, you need those Marauders at home, brah. Uh, but the SMBs need to be pulled like right now. If he waits too long, like he knows this is coming. The hell, he's just seen this. The SMBs need to be pre there. We go pre-pulled for this attack. Thanks, he gets some good damage off, but he goes for the engineering oh, bay, not things. the depot or not the uh, bunker. Oh, I like that. Because he's droning behind this. Okay, he's gonna repair that second okay. delay with the attack upgrade even. That's nice. Okay, so that was a, you know, a big commitment again. Uh, you know, gonna stress that some more. But a Ragnarok has been drop, uh, droning behind this. But yeah, okay, there's the drop. So it has to be looked at now. It does kill a few drones. Gets a queen. That's nice. It's actually not a lot to a defend this. Drones. This drop, I, I didn't like it first, yeah. but... I, I thought that I was going to go really time, bad so. when he lost the upgrades. I thought that could have gotten much worse had he sniped the uh, mm -hmm. see, weapon upgrades rather than the armor ones. You know, 50-50 chance. But, you know, this, the thing is, you get the engineering base in the wall, guys. It's a stronger, sturdier wall, but it's it's vulnerable to critical things like upgrades. Yeah. But uh, I like seeing some uh, that Ragnarok is adapting though, to Holy. the map. He's going for this Roach Hydra style, which is so good on Merry-Go-Round. I agree, but Amsher, do you realize on? that this Viking is called Five Overlords this game? Holy. Serious? Yeah, uh, for context, guys, Corporal you're supposed to only Viking. really. Yeah, you're oh. only you're only supposed to kill like three. Or even, th like, or even that, yeah, two, maybe three, yeah. Uh, so you got an Overseer and four overlords. overlords. Wow. Okay, Alive is moving out. Oh, God, I'm gonna scare for him. Why is he. Should just be defending. I guess he had some momentum because he did defend that roach attack, but oh my god, he's just going for it. Is it. Wait, what? Hydra's dying? He's going in too early with the Hydra's. He's got to wait. He's got to bulk up his forces. Oh, uh, tanks here in the front the line. Name. Tanks oh here in the front line. <laughs> alive. He's going to do it, damn sure. I think we're going to see Alive go to the finals here in just a second because this push, while not crazy out of hand right now, looks unstoppable. Even with these new roaches and hydras joining the fight, he's already lost the third drop in the main, still going off. Only just now recently cleaning it up. Yeah, Ragnarok had some roaches, the third of Alive, but yeah, that doesn't matter. He cleaned that up and oh my god, Ragnarok just wasn't ready for this. He was no. taking up 
I don't Obliterated think tanks, about this at all. tanks usually up behind this. Some good shots going off on top of the roaches. The hydrogens oh. in the back trying to do what they can, but the medevacs. Oh, there's I'm enough medevacs away. for like every marauder at this point. Wow. This is it. I, th I think maybe Alive got a lot of momentum. Okay, GG. nice. GG. Congratulations to Alive showing some great performance there, but. Okay, so I, get, I just have to talk about that. What went wrong for Ragnarok? I think, you know, that was a big commitment, the 1-1 one, one Roach push. It didn't accomplish a lot, right? So his economy hurt from that attack not doing a lot. But then I think, yeah, he just wasn't kind of expecting that attack. So he had a lot of Roaches in his main that was defending the drop. So a lot of, you know, stuff wasn't with his main army. But So maybe he was a little bit behind and he wasn't able to use that third base economy for a long enough time to hold that off. So I, I thought Ally was making a mistake moving out like that, but... I mean, Alive is a Terran, not me, and he made that work, so very nice timing there. Yeah. Before Ragnarok was able to get enough Hydras and those 2-2 upgrades in place, he just kind of used that timing window where 2-2 wasn't finished and just honed him, smashed him. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that that is the thing about Roach Hydra. Like, once it gets out of control, it's hard to deal with, but if you can cut it off, mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, head at the pass type thing. Um, yeah, but nice. yeah, so that, that means well we're going to have Ragnarok wow. versus Center in the third, fourth place match, and Alive versus Sun in the in the grand finals. Both best of fives at this point, guys. I don't know the order. I don't know which we're playing first, but we will find out while we go to this commercial break.